about four years, five years ago now, we started looking at um, making a production for railway children and working with the National Railway Museum so that we could use a real train. And of course, the National Railway Museum in the city of York is one of the major um, institutions that we have. And it always seemed to me from a long, long time ago when I started working at York that it was an obvious project to look at doing. So we're building a thousand seat theatre on the platforms of the old former Eurostar terminal. Um, the audience will sit either side of the track as though they're at a, a normal station um, in a beautiful constructed, special, unique theatre with uh, unimpended views from pretty much every seat. The star of the production is the Sterling single, a 35 tonne steam train behind me here, um, which is over 100 years old. It will be bringing on the Gentleman's Saloon, which was uh, in the classic film. The train arrived at Waterloo Station. Bernard Cribbins, the original Mr. Perks from the film, was here to hand over his station master duties to uh, Marshall Lancaster. The team down here have been fantastic, as in the, the work that we did with the team in York, um, the production management and um, all the, the crew and the, the technicians that have um, created the, the theatrical space and what is not a theatre. I mean, essentially that's what they're doing, they're building a theatre. It's a very uh, intimate space, uh, comfortable seating, so we're saying that the seats are as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than a regular theatre with plenty of legroom and cushioned seats. Um, totally rainproof and heated and, and cooled, uh, dependent on, on the climate. Um, and there they can watch the excitement of the railway children unfold in front of them. The story is essentially about a family. Um, the father is arrested and imprisoned falsely, uh, accused. Um, the family, in order to escape the glare of, I suppose, the, uh, the infamy that goes with their father's crime, leave to go to the countryside to have an, an anonymous existence. And the story is essentially about how the children um, meet um, essentially lots of other adults in the village and how, if you like, their innocence shifts the adults' perspective on how, what it is to, to live in their community and, and how they ought to behave. It's an unbelievably exciting venue to be in. Um, from the day we, we arrived here and it was abandoned and empty, um, it, it, one can't help getting excited. The authenticity of hearing the live trains go past, of actually bringing a, a site-specific production in the sense that you're seeing a, a story of the railway children in an active station. And it has been incredibly exciting watching it transform over the last month or so as we've built our theatre, um, as we've created the foyer areas, we've recommissioned the bar areas and, and brought in all the extra activities which we'll be having here. Um, it's event theatre and I think people you know, will, will want to come and see this because it, it's, it, it's once in a lifetime opportunity to see a classic um, story which is a beautiful production that everyone, everyone is so familiar with and very quintessentially British. But not only um, will they be seeing a production, they'll be, be able to exper experience a fantastic day out um, with the activities, the workshops, um, all the other extra bits and pieces that are going on with train rides and model railway sets to champagne and pins and picnics. And to see a production, um, as I said, which is totally unique. I think what you get is a real sense of going someplace, both in terms of a narrative but also in terms of um, an adventure for a family going out for a day. So not only will audiences be experiencing a truly unique theatrical event by coming to the show, but they'll also be um, helping and donating towards the Railway Children Charity, which is a £1 donation for every ticket, including the ticket price, goes towards the Railway Children Charity, which is a, a fantastic charity. It helps um, children throughout the UK and throughout the world get off the streets. So we're really pleased and privileged to be able to be helping such a worthy cause.